Welcome to the start with web client video. This video shows you how to navigate in the home page and how to personalize your home page design to optimize your web client experience. Once I log in, the home page appears presenting the most updated information in one glance. I can scroll down. Or use the tabs to jump right into the desired module. The titles in the home page link me to my daily tasks. The first thing I spot when starting my day is the sales orders tile. Like in other document tiles, I can see the number of open records created by me. I can also see the last time this number was refreshed and click the refresh icon to display the most updated number. F5 will refresh the KPIs in all tiles at once. To start processing the orders, I click the tile to open the Manage Sales Orders list view. I go back one step by clicking the Back button. Alternatively, from any screen I can choose the Home button to get to the home page. During the day, I can add new business partners and item records. I also create new activities, sales orders, and other documents. I can initiate these tasks from their list view screens. Or to use the Create tiles. The Sales Order screen opens in Add Mode for creating a new record. The Analytic tiles give me exactly the insights I need on my business in an Overview or Chart mode. And let's not forget the Useful tiles under the Useful Links tab. I like my home page to be tidy and present exactly what I need in order to handle my daily tasks. This is why I enjoy the easy way of dragging the tiles around the home page. But what if the tile I want does not appear in the home page? In that case, I click the Me Area icon and then the pencil icon to customize the home page. This icon is available only when the home page is displayed. I can create a new group which will be added at the top. I can also hide or delete a group. To change a group location, I drag it to the desired location. The most important tiles for me I add to my home group. I click the plus icon on an empty tile to open the app finder and add more tiles to my home page. I choose the X sign of a tile to remove it. With the ellipsis button, I can move the tile to a different group, but I prefer to do it by dragging tiles on the home page. To save my changes, I choose the close button. For those of you who prefer the SAP Business One main menu, I have a surprise. Click the main menu icon. The structure of the menu is similar to the Business One main menu and reflects the default sequence of tiles in the home page. Note that this menu is not dynamic and therefore the structure is not changed according to the changes in the home page. The search box enables to find the relative entry in the menu. To hide the menu, click the menu icon again. After a cup of coffee, I usually visit the notification center. Here, I review the list of activities I set with reminders and notifications related to the approval process. The notifications are grouped by date or by priority. High priority activities in red, followed by normal in yellow and low priority in green. I can click a notification to open the respective activity and choose the X icon to dismiss it. The respective activity is not affected. The definition for the Notification Center is set in the Me area under Setting Notifications. Here, I decide whether to pop up activities with reminders and whether to show notification previews on the home page. Let me use this opportunity to show you more settings. I can choose a different language. Note that all SAP Business One UI languages are supported. 
and I can change the theme. I choose the high contrast theme to reduce eye strain. I save the changes. In the Me area, I can track my recent and most frequent actions. This was the start with Web Client Video. Thanks for watching.